So that is so weird, right? There's some weird little quirky things about living in St. George, Utah. Yeah, there, there's some, again, every place has its little, you know. Quirks. Yeah, quirks, but, and, and we're no exception. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna talk about nine weird things, nine weird things about living in St. George, Utah. So stay tuned. What's up, everybody? I'm Sean Dazad. And I'm Courtney Dazad, and we're with Keller Williams Realty right here in St. George, Utah. And if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know all about living in St. George, Utah, don't forget to press on the subscribe button. And don't forget to press on the bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video because we upload new videos every week. Yeah, and as much as we love making these videos, we are licensed realtors in the state of Utah. So what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, what you want to do is want to give us a call choose a text or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back. And just to preface this video, I would say a lot of these quirks have to do with, because it's so hot here in the summer, these are kind of like the weird things that people do to sort of like get around the heat. <laughs> so it, 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 it adds to maybe some quirkiness to the area. And we adapt. Yeah, we adapt. So it's a little weird. If you're from a, maybe a more, a place that has cooler summers, you probably might find this a little weird uh, some of the things that people do. And I would say one of the weird things is that kids, even very little kids, they tend to go to bed in the summer around like 9.30, 10 o'clock, because it's so hot, you know, a lot of people don't really start doing stuff until later in the evening. Yeah. And also it's, it, it, the sun doesn't go down until really like 10 p.m. <laughs> it's pretty crazy to see. I mean, yeah. we were surprised. We were, you know, we came from Southern California and our kids would go on our regiment, like, you know, start around 7.30, starting our night routines and stuff like that. And then here, that, that's just thrown yeah, out the it's, window. It's out the window. Even if we do get them to bed at like 8.30, which never happens. They're like wired because They're the sun wired, is like, yeah. like, even with those like, the blinds shades, and all stuff. Yeah. I mean, they look and they see the sun is peeking through. <laughs> it looks like day, right? <laughs> it is pretty crazy yeah. to see like how sunny it is, like yeah. how late into the day. That was surprising yeah. for us. And just adding on to that. It, it is a little, it was a little weird to us when, you know, our neighbors were like, well, let's go to a pool party at our house at 8 p.m., what? right? The pool party starts <laughs> at 8 p.m. And then even weirder, you know, it ends at 10 p.m. So this is like, you know, on a Tuesday, right? <laughs> and then they're like, well, let's go get ice cream. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you get out of the pool and within one minute, you're totally dry. Yes, that helps. Because it's so dry. And then, you know, you all get in the car and go get ice cream. It's a little, and it's like 1030 at night with your two small children and it's just normal, right? Like It's it's pretty funny to see. Like it is interesting to see that dynamics. Yeah. Again, everything's just pushed later. It's yeah. Just, it just is what it is. Yeah. Because I mean, you just, you still want to enjoy, I mean, it's so beautiful around here, right? And it's summer, right? So they're not in school anyway. Yeah. So. They're not in school. I mean, although it does, I would say, affect me because we still have work. <laughs> So, and then I like, I like to get up early to get like my workout in, but that has been just very hampered. So, <laughs> so yeah, I would say I've been sleeping less. Uh. <laughs> yes, I have slept less. Yeah. I mean, just, it's just how, and how it goes. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta adapt. You do have to adapt. When in Rome. When in or Rome. Or when in St. George. When in St. George. So, so, well, so we're going along the same theme about late. Like, have you noticed that people are pushing things later in today? So yeah, another thing that's late. Yeah. So I would say if you take your kids to the movies, um, it'll be, you know, maybe 8 p.m. You might start the movies. And there will be two-year-olds in there starting the movie at 8 p.m. I, I took my kids to see the Minions and it was 8 p.m. And the kid next to us, I was like, hey, that kid's probably like two. Like, <laughs> and it was like not weird at all. I mean, he was one of many very small children. So you roll. <laughs> you know, and everyone's getting out <laughs> at like 10 o'clock. No one cares as a two-year-old. <laughs> like, I was just like, well, I guess that's just how. That's how we roll. Yeah. And I would say another kind of weird thing or maybe unusual thing is that even though it is really hot here and people do tend to try to do their activities in the morning or maybe in the evening, they still are out, like in the heat of day, you know, sitting, you know, my, my daughter's soccer practice, it's really hot. It'll be like, yeah, it's like later, later in the afternoon, but still it's, it's hot. Yeah. It's like 105 and people will just be, other parents will be sitting out there with no umbrella in the, the sun. Yeah. They're not even trying to seek any shade. Yeah. Like we're here, we're, we're the wimps that are like, okay, 
where's some shade that we can like still watch watch what's going on yeah but be like at least, at least get some relief from the, the heat yeah people they just adapt very quickly and they just were like well it's 105 whoa like <laughs> gotta do it <laughs> so yeah you will see people you know still going on the trails 105 degrees i mean yeah so that is a little strange and then another thing you will notice is that you know, you'll just be walking around maybe Costco or something like that. And then there'll be this one random person, maybe like an older gentleman. And his face is beet red because he's probably been golfing the whole day. Without any sunscreen. Without any sunscreen. So you will see every once in a while just somebody with like completely, completely sunburned all yeah. over. Pro tip, put on the sunscreen. We yeah. have two. One is that, okay, it's hot. Two, it's sunny. Mm -hmm. Three, we have a little bit of altitude. Not much, but enough where... Again, that sun intensity can be a bit stronger. So without those three things, put on the protection. Although I guess when you're old, like, you don't really care. I mean, that's one of the advantages of being old. Well, I don't like know. My stuck, aunt, it's not comfortable to be burned. I like, don't I don't, know. I don't, I mean, I wouldn't want to, I, I have been f fried before. I don't like it. So I prefer to just uh, head well, away, nip know. in the bud. I don't know. Like my aunt, because I was telling her, I'm like, oh, I had to get a couple of moles cut off. I'm like, you should get your moles checked. She's like, why? She's like, I'm old. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> That's how she feels about it. So another unusual thing, uh, at least I thought it was a little unusual, is because, you know, the Raiders are in Las Vegas. Fairly recently. Fairly recently. But I would say there's a, a grow, a very growing, lar like, growing contingent of hardcore Raider fans in Utah. So I thought that was a little unusual because I associate the Raiders, like, Los Angeles. Or Oakland. Or Oakland. Yeah, my mom, she was from Oakland, so she was always a Raiders fan. And then it's just weird to see, <clears throat> like, Raiders fans here? I, I don't know, but I guess they've really adopted it. So. Yeah, they, you know, it's it's one of their own. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess when it's only, like, 90 minutes away, mm -hmm. why not? Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, so. Yeah, um, just get your, you know, get your Raider tattoo and all that stuff. I mean, we see, you saw someone with actually, like, a like a pretty yeah, sizable uh, Raider yeah, tattoo on. like, on his back. And I couldn't figure out, I'm like, is he from Utah or is he a transplant yeah. from California? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Another kind of weird thing about here is that literally I feel every other business is a car wash. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah. And, and it's all manual. Like it, it, it Except seems, for one. Yeah, there's yeah. very few like full service car washes. Yeah. Which is kind of funny where someone actually not only did your exterior wash, but you get your interior cleaned by somebody, right? Mm -hmm. The vast majority, like it seems like there's so many car washes. Like you just, yeah. you can't miss them. They're all like they have the, like the automatic car wash, a lot of them, or the self serve one. But like, but then the the, the vacuuming and stuff—that's all on, on you. Yeah. Like they'll, they'll provide you with the vacuum equipment, mm -hmm. but you're doing it. You're you're not like you know someone else isn't handling it for you, which is kind of interesting. But because there's just so many of that specific type of car wash. Yeah, it seems weird because I'm like, if all these car washes, why won't some of them be self service? And then people will be out vacuuming when it's like 110 degrees, <laughs> <laughs> vacuuming their cars. But yeah, and then another. Every other business, I feel like, is a place where you can get a soda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's an yeah, that's an interesting. <laughs> yeah. And, well, and I mean, talking about sodas too. Well, always talk about like the the, the frozen custard. I mean, that, mm -hmm. there's a lot of frozen custard businesses. Yeah, but as well. at least frozen custard is ice cream, so it's like a dessert. Like soda, I'm just like, why would you go someplace just to get soda? Yeah, people soda. <laughs> I guess, but it's like every other business. <laughs> yeah. So, but I. People, although if you're dealing with hydration, I don't feel like soda is the best thing. Like water is better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, true. <laughs> Especially because of soda. It'll quench your thirst initially, but you'll just get more thirsty because of it. Because of the caffeine in it, because it dries you out. Oh, and the salt. Like I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Salt yeah. Mm -hmm. So another weird thing is that we do have like a monsoon season um, where it can get, even though it's usually typically fairly dry, like the, the air is very dry. Fairly. <laughs> bone dry bone dry but then there is like sometimes monsoons will come in and there'll be like crazy lightning and then it will get humid and you can't get you can't get flash flooding you can't get flash flooding although like i mean not really in the populated areas so much well i mean I, there have been there have been but it's it's, yeah. it's, it's still real it really is weird. rare but yeah like there is flash floods monsoons, so it's kind of like a weird little uh I don't know, weather event that you have to deal with. So just be aware of it. Mm -hmm. and, it and it actually happens and it happens through like 
pretty much through the summer, like, you know, mm-hmm. pretty much the, the summer months is your typical monsoon season. Yeah. And then there is, you know, if you do decide you want to go hiking somewhere, do watch the weather because if there are flash flood warnings, you do want to heed that because it can be very, very dangerous if oh you're my gosh. out, you yeah, know. Like, like on a trail or something, yeah, like for and sure. And there's a flash flood. I mean, you could die. So it's... I mean, I like to go mountain climbing, like, you know, during the flash floods. <laughs> Yeah. So the last weird thing we're going to talk about is the school schedule here. It it starts later in the day. Like they start at 9 a.m. and then they end at 3.30. This is the public schools. Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of other places around the country, they start school like pretty early. Yeah, like 7.45, even sometimes like 7.30. And they're done at like 2-ish. Yeah, and they get out earlier. So here it's it's a little bit, um, I don't know why they do it, maybe because... The, the days are so hot in the summer. I don't know. I, I, I've never, I mean, we never found out why they yeah. did it. I mean, it's actually great. I mean, yeah, it is we nice. Like it. Because, yeah. because then you don't really have to worry about like the after school, like getting them into some sort of after school activity. It's it, it's done. It's kind of like all encompassing basically. And also, mm-hmm. you know, that you know the kids can kind of wake up a little bit later or do some of their you know they kind of do some of their activities early on in the day just to get that get that energy out of them so that's it that's our video and again as much as we love making these videos what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs because we are licensed realtors in the state of utah so if you're looking to buy or sell a home what you want to do is you want to give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email or you can reach out to us via whatsapp however you want to get a hold of us we've got your back (laughs) 